Hello everyone, in this talk, we present the bootstrapping of an enterprise knowledge graph with Wikidata, and specifically how to constitute a nucleus focused on business domains of interest. To enrich a knowledge graph, we can perform knowledge extraction from text and tables. However, this method requires a supporting knowledge graph that contains business terms and relations to focus on. This is a virtuous loop between the enterprise knowledge graph and knowledge extraction step. But we face a cold start problem. For the moment, the enterprise knowledge graph is initially empty, which prevents knowledge extraction approaches. So to cope with this problem and to provide initial business terms and relations to focus on for later steps of knowledge extraction, we can leverage existing generic knowledge graphs to bootstrap it. Such a bootstrapping could be manual, but this is a tedious process. That's why it proposes an automatic approach relying on Wikidata and a set of business terms of interest. From this internal source, business terms are semi-manually aligned with Wikidata entities, represented by AQID. Then, from these entities, we perform an expansion along their ontology hierarchy by retrieving the classes that will be uh, provided to the knowledge graph. For a, conc for a conc concrete example, we align the business term big data with big data entity of Wikidata. Then, we retrieve its theory classes, for instance, programming paradigm. Then the superclasses of this class, for instance, paradigm, and so on. So the global expansion strategy consists of starting from the direct classes of the business term in yellow and retrieving all superclasses, all subclasses, and instances of the deepest subclasses. So for more than 800 starting business terms, such a strategy leads us to retrieve too many subclasses and instances. Therefore, they may deviate, uh, deviate from the enterprise vocabulary. And for example, for Linux, we reach a galaxy, human, star, uh, and so on. Thus, we must print these irrelevant classes before integrating them uh, into the enterprise knowledge graph. So we propose to print these classes with relative and absolute thresholds based on node degree and distance in the embedding space. A knowledge graph embedding is a representation of the graph in a n-dimensional vectorial space. There are many types of models. Probably the simplest model is a translational model, where each relation between the entities of the graph is represented by a translation in the vectorial space. Thus, the knowledge graph embedding preserves the, proper, preserves the properties of the graph, and we want to leverage the embeddings for a distance space printing approach. So the expansion algorithm with printing takes as input a, a set of seed QIDs. Then, for each QID in this set, we retrieve its direct classes. Then, for each class, we check whether it uh, respects the different thresholds. So we check the absolute degree threshold, which corresponds to a fixed threshold not to be exceeded to avoid exploring classes that are too generic. Then we check the relative degree threshold, which is computed at each level of expansion and allows us to verify that the class doesn't have a large degree deviation from other classes of the same level of expansion. Then we check the relative distance threshold, which is based on the mean of the distances between the direct classes and seed QID in the embedding space, which allows us to check if the class moves away or not uh, in the embedding space. For the distance ratio, we use two different definitions. With the first definition, 
the distance between a class and the starting QID is a Euclidean distance between their embeddings. And with the second definition, the distance between a class and the starting QID is a Euclidean distance between the centroids of the embeddings of their respective instances. Then, if the class respects this, these three difference thresholds, its subclasses are retrieved, else we print this class. Then we continue the exploration and so on. So we perform several expansion, expansions with uh, different configurations and with the two definitions of the distance on more than 800 business terms. And we have manually labeled the printing and keeping decisions. Then we computed uh, the printing precision as the number of correctly print classes divided by the number of print classes and the expansion precision as the number of relevant classes divided by the kept uh, by the number of kept classes. So the first table shows the printing decisions results for each threshold and the second second table shows the kept classes results. Firstly, we can notice that D2 is better than D1 since it has the best global printing precision. And uh, even so, the expansion precision with D1 is better than D2. D2 keeps more relevant classes uh, for the enterprise knowledge graph. Fina finally, this strategy limits the expansion from about 2.5 million subclasses to about 2,000 subclasses. To sum up, a distance um, based on centroids of instance is the best printing configuration. Nevertheless, the degree thresholds uh, remain um, the degree thresholds remain essential since some classes are only printed uh, with degree and uh, avoid exploring and uh, retrieving uh, two generic classes. Note that we have a set of labeled printing uh, and keeping decisions. In future work, we want to train and experiment different um, binary classifiers and compare them with symbolic feature-based printing or propagation-based uh, graph matrix approaches. Thank you. Do you have any questions? <laughs>